Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So the feature that I will be discussing today actually first popped up in 2023 release wave one. The long-winded name of the feature is provide intelligent suggestions to enhance seller effectiveness. And what this means is that we are actually going to be able to have the suggestions pop up in the sales accelerator. I'll tell you all about it right after this. So first, let me show you what these intelligent suggestions look like, right? So I, I just manually created a new suggestion here. So I'm just going to refresh my work list and we should now see, there it is. We now see the large opportunity suggestion here on the top. So when I click on that, you're going to see here in the up next widget, all of the details regarding that suggestion. So you can see when it's due, it's actually due today by 12 a.m. I can see the estimated revenue and then some details in here as well, right? This is a 50K opportunity. Uh, make sure you connect to a large opportunity sequence, schedule an introduction call and then monitor this closely. So what I can do from here, as you can see, I can either accept or decline this suggestion, or I can assign it to either a team or to an individual. I can do that as well. So if I hit decline, obviously this suggestion will disappear from my up next widget and from my work list, but I can also click accept here. So let's go ahead and do that. So now you can see that I have some additional options here. I can actually connect to a sequence. So if you have sequences, as you can see, I currently don't have any sequences for suggestions in here, but if you do, this is where you're going to be able to connect this suggestion to a sequence. You heard that right. We're connecting the actual suggestion, right? Not the account record where you see this suggestion surfaced on. The other thing that we can do here is create an activity. Now let's say we're going to create a phone call. We can do any of those. Again, it is important to understand that this phone call now will be stored regarding this suggestion. So not regarding the account directly, right? we are connecting this regarding this large opportunity suggestion. So let's just go ahead and put Alpine Ski House as where we're calling to. Here we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and save and close that. Oops, subject, this is a call. And I wanna do that just so you can see where this call will be visible. So again, because this call is regarding this particular suggestion, this is where that will show up. And you'll notice that it's not, let me just go ahead and refresh my timeline here. Um, it's not directly related here to this account. Obviously you can say like, you know, I, I want to configure the relationship so that it rolls back up to the account. And that's what we're seeing uh, over here. But Keep in mind, that's kind of how that works. Okay, so now that we have a bit of an understanding of how this looks and how this works inside of Dynamics 365, now let's first talk about how you can enable this. This is currently in preview. And if you wanna go ahead and try this out yourself, you can just go ahead and enable this by clicking here on the area changer and I'm going to go to sales insight settings and I'm just going to give it a second here while this loads. There you go. And then you can see here insights. So it's called a little bit differently, uh, right? It's not called suggestions here. And now all of a sudden it shows as insights, but it's the same thing. So here you can just 
the button will say en enable so you will click on that and then you can do a couple of things here right you can configure who can actually access these suggestions um, how are those suggestions or insights how are they going to be generated so it says here set up a rule based framework this is not really allowing you to create suggestions at this preview stage as of yet but it's it is giving you some information on the microsoft doc site and the same thing that you see over here where it says connect to a custom model now the if you read it when i first read it i was a little bit confused because if you read the documentation it's going to say that these suggestions can be generated through an ai model right but keep in mind at this part of the preview there is no ai model inside of dynamics 365 that will generate uh, those suggestions or those insights whatever you would like to call those right so customers do have the ability to bring their own ai model so if your organization has an ai model for example, to determine the churn risk of an account, well, then the output of that model can then be used to generate those suggestions in Dynamics 365 sales. So when I first kind of went through that documentation, it also sounded to me like Dynamics 365 sales will have an out of the box AI model. But like I said before, at the when we're doing this preview, like today, this is not there yet but if you're looking at everything that microsoft uh, is doing currently also with copilot and ai it, it i'm fairly convinced that we're going to get something similar here uh, to be able to generate those uh, suggestions or insights right but again during this preview that's not uh, available and again i don't have any confirmation that it's actually going to happen either these are just my thoughts on that so having said that you still want to be able to kind of test this out right and kind of probably see in your own environment what this looks like so how can you create suggestions in dynamics 365 sales well a couple of different ways to do that you can actually import suggestions into the system where you know you're just you have an import file and you just import them into that table but you can also create them manually or you can create a power automate flow that then creates those suggestions based on certain triggers that you configure in your flow so i actually did both i created some suggestions manually and then i also created a power automate flow that's going to create a suggestion when the estimated revenue of an opportunity is over 250k now i did want to mention real quick that the system name of the suggestion table and this is important the system name of the suggestion table is actually msdyn underscore sales suggestion so the reason i'm saying that is because i looked in two different environments and in one environment the label of the table was insights and the other one was suggestions so now you have the system name, so it would be easy to uh, import these suggestions or insights or whatever we want to call them, right? Now, the other thing I actually did is I went to the maker portal and I actually added all of the fields related to those suggestions to the form. That way, obviously, it's easier to create those suggestions. So let's just go ahead and navigate in there. Uh, I'm just going to open up one of those suggestion records that I created. So these are some of the, I guess, most important fields that are related to this suggestion table. You can see here the name, uh, related record, etc. Now, the other thing that I think is kind of nice is that you actually have a preview of that suggestion card here on the left hand side of the screen. Right. You can see that recommendation insights and then you can see what it's going to look like. Now, you can see here that we have two lookups. There's actually a third one, a lookup to a contact, uh, to the contact table as well, but it's very important to understand that even though you have the associated opportunity populated and or that contact lookup populated, 
the only time where this is going to show up is if you have a row populated in this related record lookup. And unfortunately, we at the time that I'm recording this video, we can only populate account records in this lookup. Now, when I was again digging through some of the documentations on Microsoft's website, it kind of was alluding to the fact that later on we're going to be able to um, add this record, make the related record other record types as well. So I'm hoping that at a later stage, maybe we can relate these to leads and opportunities and maybe contacts, etc. So keep that in mind. Now, the other thing that you want to take a look at is the suggested date and the expiry date, right? So this is really when is this recommendation, inside suggestion, whatever we want to call it, when is it going to be visible to the seller or if this record is owned by a team to the team of sellers, right? That's the suggested date. Then we have expiry date. So when should we no longer show this uh, suggestion, right? To either that group of people or that individual, that's the expiry date. Associated opportunity, I already talked about that. That's the associated opportunity. We have a potential revenue field. We have a status field, right? You saw me accepting this uh, suggestion earlier. Therefore, it now shows as accepted. So think about this. If people are now accepting these suggestions, you can then have a Power Automate flow, do something else, right, on the opportunity. Maybe, you know, if it is a large opportunity, maybe then connect it to a particular large opportunity sequence or something like that, right? So you could uh, you could configure stuff like that as well. Then the suggestion reason, right? 150K opportunity, that's what you see over here, right? So that's where that suggestion reason is going to show. And then suggestion insights, those are really the, the details, right, of that suggestion. Make sure you connect to a large opportunity se sequence, schedule the introduction call, and monitor the opportunity closely. Now, as I stated before, right, when I was kind of showing you this, we also have the ability to connect these suggestions, and I'm going to go here to Sales Insight Settings, to connect them to sequences. Obviously, before we do that, you would have to set up a segment first. And what you would do, you can see that over here, right, I now have the insights as a record type available here. So what I ended up doing is I actually created, as you can see here, a segment for when the estimated revenue of the qualified record, that opportunity, is equal to or greater than 25K, right? So it's looking at that related opportunity. Obviously, it needs to have data, right? That opportunity lookup. Then if you go to sequences, here again, right, I have now an insight sequence. And if I drill into that, this one is very simple, right? I'm just, I just have one test task here. And then if I click on here, we would see the segment that is related to that. Now, lastly, we can also set up assignment rules. So if you have a lot of these particular suggestions coming in, you can also go in and create a rule for that. And this is similar to, right, when you were creating these rules for leads and opportunities, you just have a couple of different options there, right? So this is very similar to what we're used to with leads and, and opportunities, right? Which segment do we connect it to? And then you can kind of see here, I want to assign the insight to a seller or a team, the accounts team or the access team, and then look at that. You also have the ability to actually uh, choose which particular lookup you want to uh, assign that insight or that notification to. And then we also have something where you can actually mark the sellers as a primary or as a not primary, secondary, I guess. And this is actually looking at attributes or 
I should say columns, right? That's the right terminology that are on the user record. So I actually have this field, this is a yes, no field on the user record. And that's kind of how I'm saying, okay, this is the primary seller and everybody else, right? That has this one particular populated um, is actually after the primary. So keep that in mind as well. So I'm gonna do one more demo. I'm just gonna go ahead and enable this sequence here. And I'm gonna say activate. And I'm gonna give it a second here while this activates. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to update. Yes, we wanna activate. I'm gonna update one of my opportunity estimated revenue fields to read over $250,000 because that's the Power Automate flow that I created to automatically, right, create that insight or that suggestion. Okay, so let's just go here to my opportunities and let's see here. I have here my potential large revenue opportunity for from Alpine Ski House. So let's go ahead and make that revenue amount. Oops, it is not liking me today. Let's just try it over here. $250,000. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. And that should now kick off my Power Automate flow and then create that suggestion. So let's give it a second here. Okay, and there it is. Let's go back to the sales accelerator now. And look at that. We can see that it now actually has two insights, right? So you can see here, actually it has three now, but this is the one that got created by my, by my Power Automate flow, right? So here it's telling you this is due by a particular date the estimated revenue. Oh, it's actually reading this from the opportunity. So I should have updated this on the opportunity, which I didn't. Estimated revenue is 250K. Extra nurturing is required. Connect to nurturing sequence. And again, I can assign this to somebody else. Now, since I actually have this particular suggestion that was created by Power Automate Flow, and the estimated revenue is more than 250K, if I click accept here, it's actually, as you can see, now showing me that it's connected to that insight sequence. And again, just like we saw earlier when we created that phone call, the sequence is actually connected to the suggestion and not to the account record. So keep that in mind. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss a video again. Thanks for watching, until next time.